Investigators say it could take up to eight weeks for the incident report in the fatal boating crash on the Savannah River. Uh, five people were killed, four others recovering after that Saturday morning accident. Among the victims are a former teacher and coach at a school here in Metro Atlanta and three members of his family. Fox 5's Eric Perry joins us in studio with the latest. Eric, such a tragedy for everyone involved. I mean, it's really hard to comprehend five people here. The news of the tragic accident really traveled quickly throughout the state. Chris Leffler taught at Kings Ridge Christian School. That's here in Alpharetta. The news of his death, along with three of his family members, his wife and two sons, really hitting former co-workers, students, and parents hard. That's it in the water. That's it in the water. This dramatic video shows the Coast Guard rushing to rescue as many people as they can following a horrific boating incident Saturday morning. Emergency crews rushed to a boat crash on the Wilmington River in Savannah after two boats collided just before 11. A total of five people died, including four members from the Leffler family. Chris Leffler, his wife Lori, and his two sons, 23-year-old Zachary and 17-year-old Nathan. Just couldn't believe that something like this happened, especially to um, to such an amazing family. Edward Spurka is the headmaster at Kings Ridge Christian School in Alpharetta, where Chris Leffler was a longtime history teacher and football coach. His relationship with the Leffler family dates back years. Spurka describes Chris as passionate and loving. Spurka says Chris moved to Savannah to another school in January. His son Nate just finished junior year and joined his family in Savannah around spring break. I think the community's been devastated. Um, Chris has always been one that had a passion for his kids and a passion for his family and our school. Always stop to help everyone and talk about a selfless servant. Um, I think that's what people will miss the most about Chris and remember about Chris. Spurka says the school plans a vigil and service Tuesday evening to honor a family that's had such an impact on those in the community. I want to provide an opportunity for people to gather. Um, we'll have some counselors on, on uh, standby, but just to let people know that we need to get through this together. This is something that's too big for people to handle alone, and, and um, we need to be not afraid to lean on one another. And police have arrested and charged 45-year-old Christopher Stagall for boating under the influence. Stagall was the driver of the other boat in this crash. So the vigil is actually set for tomorrow evening at the school in Alpharetta. They just want people to come together, especially those in the community. It's mm -hmm. open to the public, but really a time for officials to stress boating safety. As many people getting out there for spring break or summer break and trying to enjoy the water, they're just tragic overall. Yeah, such a devastating outcome, especially when they were just out trying to have a good time. Trying to have a good time, enjoy the weather. Yeah. Eric, thank you.